Hello everyone and welcome back to Fallout 4. I'm gonna go talk to Elder Maxim. Oh boy, I bet he's pissed off something fierce. I believe that Dr. Lee's returned to the Brotherhood. I can't believe Dance was a synth. I'm not gonna lie, when I started this game I expected my character to be a synth. Reporting is ordered, Elder. Before we continue, I want to make one thing clear. This conversation will be the last time we speak about Dance. As far as the Brotherhood of Steel is concerned, he's dead. Do you understand? Of course. The Brotherhood must come first. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. Of course. Dance's execution creates a missing link in our chain of command. That traitor held quite an important position with us. I'm certain that you'll make a fine replacement. His quarters and all his possessions are now yours. Including his personal suit of power armor. Congratulations, Paladin. I won't disappoint you, Elder. Had I even a single doubt in my mind, I wouldn't have awarded you the promotion. Just be aware that a Brotherhood Paladin is expected to be a symbol of integrity to our brothers and sisters. I trust you won't disappoint them or disappoint me. In any event, we still have the Institute to contend with, and a lot of work to do before we can begin our final assault. While the finishing touches are being put onto Liberty Prime, Captain Kells has identified a potential threat to our operations. Report to him immediately for your next assignment. Ad Victorium, Paladin. Yeah, that was a quest I don't... his power armor. Yeah, I've upgraded mine a lot, so I'm just going to change the paint to paladin paint, but... Attention! Any soldiers who have not yet received a field assignment from Proctor Teagan should speak... Oh, this opens up a whole new room. It's roomy. Not... Crap out of here. Promotion was well deserved, Paladin. That's dances on Heard you gave those muties at Fort Strong something to think about. It's indeed. Darn it. My 
high power armor, I upgraded to model. Time to waste when there's work to be done. You know what I'm going to do to this one? Captain Kells is gonna have me doing a hundred push-ups. Now that the unfortunate matter regarding Dance has been settled, we can return to our primary mission. Do you think Dance's execution was justified? It's quite obvious Dance was a traitor. Or at the very least, a turncoat in the making. That machine's presence was endangering this ship and its crew. So it needed to be dealt with, swiftly and without mercy. Your actions in this matter were not only justified, they were vital to our mission. With all of that behind us, we can shift our focus back to our wartime preparations. Okay. I'm ready, Captain. Good, because this mission demands your full attention. Now, before we launch our attack on the Institute, we need to address another threat. The Railroad. They're a small but capable group that uses subterfuge and guerrilla tactics to harass their enemies. Our tactical analysis says they could possibly hamper or harm our operations which is a risk I'm not willing to take. If we strike them now, we should be able to maximize the amount of damage we do to their organization. Okay. Why is the railroad such a threat? Even with their relatively small numbers, the railroad is a constant threat to our operations. They've already proven to be resilient against superior forces. With a knack for disappearing when cornered, worse still, they possess the capability to help synths flee the Institute. If we intend to end the synth menace, we need to plug the leaks. Destroying the railroad hinges on completely eliminating their leadership. Otherwise, they'll simply regroup somewhere else. To that end, here's a list of the five targets we believe would cause a catastrophic failure in their chain of command. Do they all have to die? Absolutely. It's the only effective way of ensuring that they're no longer a threat. Now, before you depart, Proctor Ingram has additional orders for you to complete. Our sources tell us that the railroad has some sort of experimental or prototype robot in their headquarters. They're calling it the Predictive Analytic Machine, or PAM for short. <laughs> Cute, huh? They use the robot for complex strategic calculations that are much more efficient than anything we can generate here. If you could use this holotape to decrypt the security on Pam's terminal, it will force the unit to return to the Pridwin. I'm certain we could put Pam's computing power to good use. Otherwise, destroy it. We wouldn't want it to fall into the Institute's hands. Okay. Anything useful you can tell me about Pam? We have very little information on it. Its primary function is supposed to be coming. using mathematical calculations in order to predict future events. I have no idea how successful it was, but 
If the railroad's been using Pam for this long, it's got to be providing them with some sort of benefit. I'm sure Proctor Quinlan would be pleased to have it in his possession. I think that should be sufficient information to assist you on the mission, Paladin. When you're ready, proceed to the Old North Church and link up with our assault team. They'll provide demolition support and all the firepower you'll need to take the railroad down. Ad Victorium, Paladin. Try and get Pam back here in one piece, okay? I have another assignment for you, Paladin. Virgil. As long as that abomination lives, he's a threat to the Brotherhood. The time has come to deal with him. Virgil is no longer a super mutant. His cure worked. He's no threat to us. What? That... that thing actually found a cure? Hmm. He can't be trusted. But as a human, he's trapped in the glowing sea. Maybe he can still be an asset to us. <laughs> All right. We'll continue to monitor him. For now. For your service, allow me to offer you a new helm for your power armor. Wear it with pride. Paladin paint, increases action point refresh, headlamp, standard helmet lighting, and VATS matrix overlay. Nice. Take it. You've earned my respect, Paladin. Not many can say that. Carry on, brother. Ad Victorium. And we level up! Getting a three percent Z tilt. Adjusting thrust recommended. Nope. So, here's what I'm going to do. Reactor at one hundred percent efficiency. Gonna go up. I'm gonna go put this on my pallet and see if I can upgrade it. I don't think I have enough of the stuff to do so, but I'd really like to wear it because this armor's kind of awesome. <laughs> Ferals. Radiation has a twisted sense of humor. Don't despair, brother. We're here to save the Commonwealth. Experience. Hot shots and big mouths end up with closed casket funerals. I like the Paladin armor paint. I really do. Alright, we'll take the power armor for this one. I'm a Paladin. You should start looking like one.
problem is going to be repairing this. I don't like using it because of the repair the needs to repair. Mm. Okay. on the railroad. I kind of like these guys. Oh, no, the railroad always seems sketchy. I like their work. Ah, oh, look, Raider power armor. We're working on it. Hmm. Let's do this! Area sweep, now! Help me! I'm blind! Get out my head! I lost him.
gone. It's over. Ooh. Brotherhood. Orders call for no prisoners. Shoot to kill. Detonation pack secured and ready, sir. Maybe they're still here. Watching us. Laughing.
I saw something. Let's go. System reset accepted. Awaiting instructions. Ready for programming instructions. Recommend interface type RJ11G.
hope I picked up enough junk. Yep, don't need that. Attack. Okay. Isolation. Let's try that. Nope. Gotta be something. Not something. Got it. Wow. Dumb guess. Pridewind and drop off my armor and then talk to the and talk to Captain Kell.
that. Attention all personnel. This is to serve as a reminder. Scribe Naraya's mole rat subjects are not pets. They are crucial military resources. As such, they are not to be fed by any personnel save Scribe Naraya and her team. Any violation of this policy will result in severe discipline. If you run into any simps, shoot to kill. We don't take prisoners. Okay, what, what's the one that needs the most repair? It's this leg. All right. Okay, now next is forty. This one. We're going up in severity. For Lorium, brother. This thing is in great shape. Oh. Love that armor. I might throw a power cord in you and move you back to the rest of the armor. If it was up to me. Take every feral muty and synth and shoot them into space. The last person that disobeyed Captain Kells ended up scraping rust off the Bridman's hull. Alright. We're gonna go talk to Captain Kells. Railroad's taken care of and dealt with, and he should. System deltas at 100%. Secondary deltas standing by. Proximity sensors green. Getting a three second ping back. Oh. Yeah. I finally have this uniform. Well, it appears that the railroad won't be a hindrance to our future operations. I was just following your orders. As you should be, Paladin. I'm also pleased you managed to secure Pam, rather than allow it to be destroyed. We are having it brought to the Pridwin, where it will be installed in Proctor Quinlan's office. It's an amazing piece of pre-war technology that should prove to be quite beneficial to us. Speaking of pre-war technology, Proctor Ingram is putting the final touches on Liberty Prime and requires your assistance. Congratulations on another successful mission, Paladin. Ad Victorium. Hell. See Adjusting we... internal ballonet pressure. Green lights across the board. I still don't like the look of the metal armor with this. But until I Delta get Delta sequence initiated. Combat armor, time, I'm leave 14 it. minutes. Have it run into the sturdy or the hardened. So, uh, on that note, I'm gonna call this an episode. It's sending me up there. Yep, sending me up there. I'm gonna call this an episode. Ugh, take me a break for a bit. Maybe have a taco. But, uh, you hit that like and subscribe button for more. 
and I'll see you in the next video. Ad Victorium.